And if you go up to InfoWars.com, we have a video put out by Paul Watson. In fact, we probably need to play this. You guys probably already downloaded his report. Um, they're now having Hollywood people put out fake sex tapes to promote attacks on Syria. PR stunt regurgitates Obama's red line propaganda. These people are war criminals, ladies and gentlemen, trying to use sex to sell, turning that country over to Al-Qaeda so Al-Qaeda can sexually mutilate the women, put burkas on their heads and pull them out of college. God, it's just it's so sick. You know what I call them? The horrors of war, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's that. I mean, that's what's going on here. So we'll uh, get into that as well. Meanwhile, while this is happening, what we told you months ago is now mainstream news. London Guardian: Fukushima radiation leak reaches deadly new high. It was 18 times higher than what they'd first said last week. Now they're saying that that may be uh, incorrect. Uh, it may be uh, hundreds of times worse. Just plutonium, uranium. By the thousands of gallons an hour pouring right into the Pacific Ocean. And the federal government is on record going back a year ago, and Fukushima happened two years ago, uh, ordering the, the regular regular uh, radiation test of spot, you know, spot test of fish, yellowfin tuna, bluefin tuna to be halted. Because after all, there's a new policy. Deadly dust at the 9 11 collapse isn't bad for you, DU isn't bad for the troops, and all the different radioactive isotopes are good for you. Well, yeah, good, good for killing you. And at these dosages, you know, you die five, ten years from now. And they don't know why you got cancer. They don't know why the cancer goes up. It's just kind of like, hey, get ready to take a dirt nap early. <laughs> You're not going to see those grandkids. You're 40 years old. You know, you got a couple kids. Your grandkids won't ever even make it to have kids. How do you like dying? Little gift from the New World Order. <laughs> How about how about we give how about we give General Electric that built those faulty reactors and they built them right on a fault line and a tsunami line like the worst place on earth? They did an actuary right after it said this is probably the worst place you can build it in the world, except maybe right by a volcano in Hawaii or something. I mean, how about we give peace prizes to them? How about we give how about we give uh, all of them peace prizes? You know, because it does bring peace to the earth. And they'll probably end up blowing up the well, you know. Uh, the uh, major continents of the planet killing most of life on Earth. Hell, give them an environmental World Wildlife Fund award for that. Because, you know, after all, they told us they're the ones that care about the Earth. They're the ones that care about the children. The children. I mean, Obama is doing the Syria attack for the children. And he, he never said there was a red line, even though we have him on tape saying it. And he said there wouldn't be any boots on the ground. And four days later, they said, well, we do need boots on the ground. But he never said that either. And you just need to get to the realization of don't be an extremist like me, folks. Don't be upset about any of this going on. Get yourself Pacific, North Pacific tuna. So what if many of the seals are dying and people's hair is falling out uh, in Alaska, where some of the most intense currents come from right off the coast of uh, Fukushima? So what if the radiation levels are very high? I mean, so what? I mean, don't be an extremist. Learn how to prance around like a trendy, wear different color socks, have a beard, have a pot belly. You'll have a hot chick with you if they see that. Oh my God, he's a trendy. Got a big beard, hot belly, different colored socks, tattoos all over him. I mean, nothing against that. I, I just, you know the secret? Being a trendy protects you from radiation. That's what it is. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. 
start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. All right, we're going to your phone calls here in a moment. The toll free number to join us is 800 259 9231. I want to hear from listeners about their take on what I've said that this is a total collapse in the establishment's credibility. One of the greatest diplomatic meltdowns for the New World Order ever. And that now no one believes what they're basically saying. And just two or three days ago, they were 20 votes short in the House uh, to get a war resolution that's passed out of the Senate committee going to the full Senate. Rand Paul saying he's going to fill a bluster. God bless him. Isn't it good to have a few patriots up there? Uh, we've got um, now some estimates are 100 votes short in the House. So Obama says, well, I'll just go ahead without congressional approval. But at least we force them to talk about the Constitution and congressional approval. And if this war criminal is going to do it, he's going to do it on his own. And you've got thousands of military going public saying they will not serve over there as the Air Force for Al-Qaeda, as the ground troops for Al-Qaeda. And the Russians have released a full report to the world that they released back in July, but an expanded report from the March chemical weapons attack um, there in Syria that was documented to be the rebels, and there's video of the rebels in that case as well, bragging they launched the chemical attack. Then an AP reporter, not the AP, a reporter that reports for the AP separately published an article that went worldwide last week that they talked to all these people over there who said, yeah, no, we launched the chemical attack. Well, of course they did. But listen, Russia says it's compiled a 100-page report blaming Syria rebels for a chemical weapons attack going back to the March attack. So they say that makes them the main suspects this time. That is out of McClatchy. Continuing, Russia warns of nuclear disaster if Syria is attacked, saying there is a small experimental nuclear reactor, a neutron source reactor, or MSNR. Same thing they've got at the University of Texas in Austin, outside Damascus that the rebels have been trying to take over. And we have Fox News reporting, finally, what we've been talking about for two and a half years on a daily basis. Rebels took a hilltop monastery put everybody to the sword reportedly, and began shelling, AP's reporting, began shelling the Christian town. Well, what, are they going to get an ACLU award for that? Al-Qaeda-linked Syrian rebels fight army near Christian village, and the army has apologized. They, 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 the Al-Qaeda forces are too well trained by the U.S. and NATO. And uh, they're they're beating the army there right now, so they're gonna they're gonna be able to slaughter all the Christians. So big victory for Obama. Give him another peace prize for that one. And there's videos of the Syrian soldiers they're capturing. Should we play this? Because we have a family viewing audience of them chopping their heads off. Because you know they have some news footage where it doesn't show them being chopped off. They have others where it shows them chopping them off and throwing them off roofs. You know, what the media is showing is them preparing to chop their heads off. Um, and there's a whole bunch of these videos. But you know what? You can go find them if you want to look at them. The point is, now the AP, now Fox News, now it's all being uh, reported on. And here's the New York Times on that subject. Brutality of Syrian Webbles posing dilemma for the West. Well, let me just give the rebels a peace prize and it makes it okay. New York Times reports, Kerry portrait of Syrian rebels at odds with intelligence reports. When Kerry said uh, in his testimony in the last two days to the Senate and the House, uh, the House yesterday, Senate uh, on Tuesday, he said there's no Al-Qaeda connections, no. There's nothing going on here. Uh, continuing, uh, and by the way, that's Reuters now saying Kerry's not telling the truth. Uh, continuing, opposition to Syria war goes all the way to the Pentagon. Now there's more and more people in the Pentagon going public saying they don't support it. And General Dempsey, the chairman Joint Chiefs, said months ago it's a bad idea. But, you know, so what? Obama in his speech said Dempsey said it was a good idea. He said the chairman, meaning the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, says this is doable and is a right thing to do. Of course, Dempsey didn't ever say that, but so what? Hey, if you're going to tell one lie, why not tell a thousand? My wife had a bag of potato chips last night, and after dinner we got into them watching uh, Pawn Stars with the kids. They like that show. We like it. We watch it occasionally. And um, 
you know, we ate one chip, we ate two chips, and we ate the whole bag, and we went and ate the gluten-free uh, Oreo knockoff, the organic Oreo knockoff. We ate almost the whole container. And that's kind of like Obama and the globalist. I mean, if you're going to put fluoride in the water to dumb down those pesky Americans that love freedom and lower their IQ, why not just give them GMO? And then that doesn't work. Well, we're going to just dumb them down more with spray aluminum on them. You know, have that added to the jet fuel. That'll dumb them down. And, you know, the whole public basically has slow motion Kreutzfeldt's Jacobs disease. Gut diseases exploding. I just want to remind you the, the plagues we're under, living under the New World Order eugenicist. Here is Obama back in August of last year saying that he had set a red line uh, clearly, and then now he's saying he never said that, so here's both those clips. Uh, we have been very clear to the Assad regime, but also to other players on the ground that a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. Uh, that would change my calculus. That would change my equation. First of all, I didn't set a red line. The world set a red line. There you go. So there he is a few days ago. He didn't set a red line. Now, here's the bottom line if he just joined us. I believe this is a total collapse of confidence in them. I don't believe that. I know that. It is seismic. It is historical. It is ground shaking. The empire will strike back. The question now to listeners... All the way into the next hour when Larry Pratt joins us at the bottom of the hour with some key Second Amendment updates. The big $64 trillion question here is what are they going to do to haul their bacon? Will they launch an attack out of Syria or give medium-range missiles to rebels they fire at Israel to then blame on Assad? Will they launch another chemical attack? They've done it at least three times now and been caught. That's now mainstream news. Uh, will they attack a Super Bowl and say Assad did it? Will they attack and say Patriots did it to get a diversion going? Uh, will they set off a small nuke? Will they release a bioweapon and say it's some new SARS deal? I mean, let me tell you something. Their whole agenda, everybody's starting to speak out against them. And so they know that makes it safer for other people too. And more whistleblowers and everything they fear. And the NRA suing the NSA for secret anti-gun databases, gun owner databases. And everybody starts waking up and everybody gets past their fear. It's over for them, folks. It's Ceausescu type stuff, like in Romania. If you don't know about the fall of Ceausescu, look it up. It's fall of the Soviet Union. I've been saying for two weeks, folks, this is like the fall of the Soviet Union. Now, it may not happen this month or even next year, but let me tell you, all the king's horses and all the king's men are not going to be able to put the New World Order back together again. The egg fell off. It hit. The cracks are all in it. The yolk's starting to drip out. It's falling apart right now. They're not putting it back together again. They're not going to be able to do it. I've looked at every angle. They are in deep trouble. They are in deep trouble. And I'm telling you, the talking points you see everywhere are our talking points because we just go with the truth and what's really happening. And the fact that we're at the core of this resistance is, 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 is so historical and it's incredibly dangerous. So as I said, please pray for us because... History is happening right now, and, and this is another testament to what good men can do standing up to tyranny and what good women can do. And I want to salute our audience, our affiliates, our sponsors, everyone that's helped us. You're all part of this. In fact, you can enjoy being part of it, and in, in, in it's not a, a dangerous position as people like I am in. Or Rand Paul are in, or Matt Drudge is in, or Pat Buchanan is in. The system does not like leaders who are not evil and who cannot be bought. So I want you to understand the playing field here. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.